welcome 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 back to my channel today i want to show you how i make a fabulous fabulous chickpeas curry style okay guys um you're gonna need a pan to my pan i'm gonna add some olive oil my stove was on high but i'm gonna turn it down to a medium and i have some vegetables here I'm going to add my onions. Right. So this has been sauteing for about a minute. So I'm going to add in my minced garlic. Allow that to cook for a few seconds. We don't want to burn it. Okay. After a few seconds, I'm going to go ahead and use some curry powder because you want to cook your curry off. And I'm not measuring, guys. I'm just eyeballing. This should be more than enough. So then you just allow your curry to cook, okay? So I'm gonna allow that to cook, move it around just a little bit because we don't want our garlic and onions to burn. So we're gonna allow the curry to cook for about, I would say a minute, and it's on low heat, guys. So nothing burns, okay? After a minute, I'll come back and show you what I did. It's been cooking for about a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and add in the rest of my vegetables. I have different colored uh, bell peppers. I have tomato here. I'm going to add in my tomatoes. And I do have some green onions as well. Okay. So I'm going to add in our green onions. And I have I have some scotch bonnet. I'm going to add my scotch bonnet in. And then we're going to let this cook for about a minute as well. And it's not going to burn because our tomato is going to release some juices. So that's going to cause it not to burn. Okay, so we're going to let this go for about 30 seconds or so. And then we're going to add in our beans. And I just want to show you the beans that I'm going to be using. I'm using the low sodium garbanzo beans. Okay. So I'm using a low sodium and it's organic. You can use the fresh ones, but I just want to get this over with. So I'm using um, the ones from the can. All right. I'm going to add my beans in like this. It smells amazing in here. It's looking amazing. Okay, so now what I'm going to add is my coconut milk okay so I have some fresh coconut milk I'm gonna add it like that to my coconut milk I'm gonna add some thyme and I have some parsley that I washed you can season this however you like but I'm going to use, I have some of this um, pumpkin flavored um, soup seasoning. So what I am what I did is I strained it because it has like little noodles in it. So I, with a strainer, I strained it a little bit to remove the noodles. And I'm going to just take some of the seasoning and I'm going to add it to our dish like that. Okay. 
And if you want, you can add fresh pumpkin to this. I'm going to add some black pepper. And I still have my stove on a medium. Although we use fresh garlic, I like garlic, so I'm going to add a little bit of garlic powder. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of seasoning salt. Like this. And I'm going to give it a stir, making sure our seasoning is all throughout this dish. Okay, and you want to give it a taste before you allow it to simmer. Guys, that is amazing. Wow. Mm, 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 mm. So what I'm going to do is use, put my lid on, and then we're just going to allow this to simmer for about, I would say, let's say, five minutes and it's on a low okay and once you know our liquid reduced just a little bit then our beans should be ready to serve okay all right we had this cooking for about five minutes okay the liquid reduced this is what we want we don't want all of the liquid to evaporate this is perfect where is that okay see how delicious this looks guys it is absolutely fabulous it smells amazing the scotch bonnet i did give it a taste again mm, 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 mm. and if you notice our beans are not mushy they're still intact this is a must try recipe if you want to give uh, meat a break go ahead and make this enjoy it with some brown rice white rice or whatever you would like to enjoy it with all right i'm going to show you how i serve it all right, guys, here's our fabulous, fabulous curry chickpeas. It is absolutely delicious. It is nice and tasty. It has a nice amount of heat. Well, let me say the right amount of heat. As you can see, my mouth is watering. Until next time, please like, comment. Do not forget to subscribe. Delicious. Yes, I'm going to eat it all. Mm -mm 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 -mm.